Here it is, our fourth and final week of the Run Cadence Challenge. If you've been with us from the beginning, we've been working the last three weeks on our Run Cadence progressions. We've been marrying that with some core running principle on movement, on technique, and a little strength piece to show us how this is all integrated and how we can all move a little bit better. We're gonna finish the fourth week with one of my favorite topics, breathing, how we connect our breathing with our running. Let's get into it. So for our fourth and final week, we're gonna do our longest cadence intervals yet. You're gonna go three by two minutes, working on base plus two, base plus four, and base plus six. And your challenge, in addition to counting and working on your rhythm, is to connect your breathing with it. For the base plus two, you're gonna focus on inhaling for two steps and exhaling for two steps. Inhaling for two and exhaling for two. When you get to the base plus four, you're gonna lengthen that breathing out. You're gonna inhale for four, exhale for four. Inhale for four, exhale for four. And finally, for the base plus six, this is gonna be the biggest challenge, you're gonna to have to really slowly control and regulate your breathing. You're gonna inhale for six, and exhale for six. Adjust the speed of this because the breathing with your cadence is the most important part. And in the next segment, I'm gonna get a little bit more into why that is so. Now, if you ask most runners, how do they breathe when they run? Do they breathe rhythmically? Do they breathe in for a certain number of steps or out uh, a certain number of steps? You're probably gonna get a puzzled look back. They're like, well, I just breathe. I don't really think about it. And the wonderful thing about breathing is that it is this semi-autonomous thing that we don't need to think about. It happens when we're asleep. It happens when we're day dreaming or distracted or whatever. But if we can start to develop a conscientious practice there, we can realize that we've actually been breathing not nearly as efficiently as we could be. We could be uh, breathing only into our chest when we've actually had this whole other tank fuel tank almost of air that we could have been pushing all the way deeper into our belly. We could discover that when we breathe deeper into that belly, we start to activate that diaphragm. When we start activating that diaphragm, that actually helps us to dynamically stabilize our hips as we run. So all of these good things start to come. The other thing that's helpful when I start breathing deeper into that belly and especially through that nose is that it gets me out of that you know, fight or flight sympathetic state and it gets me a little bit more relaxed into that parasympathetic state. So it's a nice way to calm myself down at the end of a stressful day. It's a nice way to keep myself from freaking out through a tough spark in a run or a race. So that's why we're connecting our breathing with our cadence. Now, you may ask, wait a minute, he's having me breathe for six inhales and six exhales. Does that mean I should run like that all the time? And it says probably not. You're gonna find some efficiency point uh, somewhere in between, but I want you to stretch your limits. I want you to practice inhaling for more and exhaling for more and pushing that out. How far can you go? Because if I expand your comfort zone and your strength and your ability to regulate your own breathing there, you've just expanded your comfort zone for all the normal stuff and you've developed a little bit of awareness there so that when you go back to your running and your hard workouts, that breathing is that big lever that you can control for a positive way. So our last core strength challenge is going to be a reverse plank hold where instead of counting by the number of uh, seconds on the clock, we count by the number of breaths we take. And by controlling our breathing, we can extend our time in this reverse plank hold. And this really marries a lot of the things that we've talked about over this month. Everything from improving our hip extension. This way, instead of being in that arch body position, I'm gonna hit extension the other way by pushing my hips up and extending that way. This also works on my arm swing by pushing through my arms, opening up my shoulders, this opens up this arm swing that way. And then finally, while we're stabilizing, can we breathe? Can we work on that pushing and pulling of our breathing and connect it there? So I'm up here, push my hips up nice and tall. And can I inhale? <sighs> exhale, and I could inhale and exhale through the nose or in through the nose, out through the mouth. Now on average, if I'm a good, respectable runner, my breath should be three to four second length. So if we're doing the math here, we're doing three second holds for 30 seconds. That's a 90 second reverse plank hold in total. Remember, I don't have to do it all at once. I could break it up into five breath or 10 breath holds. But this focus here is really gonna help you control yourself while you are suffering in this plank. 
Now don't forget, we're gonna retest that mile one more time. Remember, this doesn't have to be the fastest mile of your life. It's actually pretty controlled at that six out of 10 effort. But we just wanna see how these concepts have hit home for you. You've done all this work and consistent practice with your cadence. Where are you landing now? And uh, let's count that uh, final minute of the mile and see where we're at. And we'd love to see the work that you've done Post down below in this video in the comment section what your starting number was, what your middle test number was, what your final test number was, if you did all three, and how you felt. We would love to hear from you. Ah, taking it back inside for a second. So now that you've finished the Run Cadence Challenge, we want to know how it went. We would love for you to reflect a little bit on the changes you made. Does your ch cadence change at all from the beginning to the end of this challenge? How did it change? Would it improve at the end of the runs, you know, going uphill and downhill, et cetera, et cetera. Um, how did those strength bonus, those core strength bonus challenges uh, affect your running? Did you feel a little stronger connected all the way through? Did it help connect any aha moments in general through the, the cadence? We would just love to hear your thoughts and reflections on that. And remember to be eligible to win one of our three grand prizes. We'd love for you to shoot a one to two minute video, uh, you know, sharing the goods with us a little bit. And, and remember just by sharing this with us, sharing with our community, this helps all of us get a little bit better. It helps the runners who maybe felt uh, a little intimidated to try or they weren't sure just to see how you're doing. And then that motivates them to give it a try and make those same improvements themselves. Uh, be sure to send that video to coaching at the run experience.com. Use subject line uh, hashtag TRERCC in the subject line so that we can find it. And uh, we'll choose our three favorites and send you that grand prize gift package. And of course, we're gonna send another five of you uh, as winners and give you just some TRE swag as well. So again, congratulations on getting all the way through. We're so excited you did this with us. Our whole purpose in life is to put out good content and connect with you in the purposes of helping you do this thing a little bit more. So you can enjoy running, you can be out there, you can earn your miles to your running to your 100. I'll see you guys in the next video. Well, there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for doing this thing with us. Remember, we wanna hear directly from you and for you to enter to get some cool. <laughs> So our fourth and final set of run workouts is going to be include, oh, this is terrible. I'm gonna, blah, blah, blah. So our final core strength challenge is going to be this. It's going to accumulate 30, oh, I'm.